Your Windows is not fully optimized for gaming yet. This is the main reason you're experiencing FPS drops and input lag in your favorite games. In this video, I'll walk you through settings that many of you might not know about. These tweaks can give you a massive FPS boost. For all the resources used in this video, check the download links in the description. Watch this video until the end. Let's dive in. Frustrated with lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need a gear up booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. First, let's optimize virtual memory to improve system stability and ensure smoother gameplay. Manually adjusting the paging file size helps prevent slowdowns and enhances overall responsiveness. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing Advanced System Settings and selecting the result. In the System Properties window, navigate to the Performance section and click Settings. In the Performance Options window, switch to the Advanced tab, then under Virtual Memory, click Change to configure it manually. Uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives, then select Local Disk C for Allocation. Under Custom Size, set the initial size to 1.5 times your total RAM and the maximum size to 3 times your total RAM for stability. To calculate these values, open the calculator and multiply your RAM size in GB by 1024 to convert it to MB. For example, if you have 16 GB of RAM, multiply 16 by 1024 equals 16,384 MBs. Then, multiply this by 1.5 to get 24,576 MB initial size. Next, multiply your RAM size in MB by 3 to get 49,152 MB maximum size. Enter these values accordingly. Once done, click Set, then OK to apply the changes. Virtual memory acts as extra RAM when needed, ensuring smoother performance in games and demanding applications, reducing lag, and preventing sudden slowdowns. All right, guys, download this Ultimate Windows Optimization Pack right now. Just head over to my official website and grab it for free. Once it's downloaded, extract the file to your desktop and open the folder. Inside, you'll find several subfolders. First, go into the Registry folder where you'll see multiple registry files. Install them one by one to apply essential performance tweaks. After that, return to the main folder and open the Windows command folder. Here you'll find key scripts designed to fine-tune various Windows settings. Apply each command step-by-step step to fully optimize your system. Now guys, you need this free tool to fine-tune Windows 10 and even Windows 11 for peak gaming performance. With the right tweaks and optimizations, it works across low, mid and high-end PCs, delivering an FPS boost and an overall smoother Windows experience. Once the optimizer is open, head over to the General tab. If you're unsure about any setting, just click on it and a small dialog box will pop up explaining its function. Click OK, then follow along to adjust the necessary settings while skipping those that might negatively impact your system. First, optimize performance, then do the same for the network settings. However, keep in mind that this may occasionally raise your ping. If that happens, simply revisit the tool and turn it off. Disable error reporting, the compatibility assistant, as well as print fax, sticky notes, and smart screen. These are mostly unnecessary, but if you use fax or printing features, you may want to leave them enabled. For disk drives, I don't recommend turning off the system restore point, as it can be crucial in certain situations. Regarding Superfetch, if you're on a very low-end PC, leave it enabled. But if you have a mid- or high-end PC, disabling it can improve responsiveness. Also, be sure to disable hibernation. This one is highly recommended. For NTFS timestamp settings, it's best to leave them unchanged. While disabling it may reduce input slash output operations, the impact is minimal. However, you should disable search services. This won't remove all search functionality, just the background service. In the Apps section, disable Office Telemetry, Mozilla, Google, NVIDIA, and Visual Studio services if they're installed. Under Privacy Settings, disable Telemetry Tasks, Media Player Sharing, unless you're using a home group, and SMB v1 and v2 protocols, since they've been replaced by SMB v3, making them unnecessary. For Windows 10 specific tweaks, disable My People, optional, 
enable long paths and turn off TPM checks. Clicking on TPM check reveals that it bypasses Secure Boot and TPM 2.0, allowing a Windows 11 upgrade. If you plan to upgrade, leave it enabled. Also, disable sensor services, remove cast to device, and restore the classic photo viewer if you prefer it over the default one. Next, disable all privacy settings. Under gaming settings, enable game mode, disable Xbox Live services, and turn off the game bar. In touch settings, disable everything unless you rely on a touchscreen display. Windows update settings require some care. First, disable Microsoft Store updates, turn off the insider service, and prevent drivers from being updated automatically. However, temporarily enable updates to install the latest Windows patches. After updating, return here and disable automatic updates again. Now, for UWP apps, these are pre-installed apps on your PC. Uninstall any unnecessary ones, like Bing Weather, Spotify, Skype, Microsoft Maps, Windows Alarms, OneNote, Groove Music, and Mixed Reality Portal. You can always restore them later, but removing unused apps helps streamline performance. Next, open the Startup tab and remove unwanted startup programs. For example, disable Adobe services and Google Chrome updates, but keep essential gaming components like Riot Vanguard for Valorant. Once you've selected them, hit Delete to prevent them from launching at startup. For network tweaks, flush the DNS cache. This may cause a brief disconnection, but that's normal. Then open Network Connections, right-click on your Ethernet connection, go to Properties, and under the Configure section, navigate to Power Management. Uncheck all power-saving options to slightly improve network performance and lower ping. Now, test different DNS servers. Open the Pinger tool and enter 1.1.1.1 Cloudflare DNS, then ping it to check latency. Repeat the process for Google's DNS, 8.8.8.8. .8 Whichever DNS has the lowest ping is the best choice for gaming. To apply it, open Network Connections, go to Properties, and under Internet Protocol version 4, IPv4, set the fastest DNS as the preferred one and the other as the alternate. Finally, restart your PC to apply all the other changes. To get started with Gear Up Booster, Download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, Return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Fine tuning your PC's power settings is a crucial step in optimizing Windows for gaming performance and maximizing FPS. Start by opening the Windows search bar typing power and selecting choose a power plan. Once inside, switch your current plan to high performance or ultimate performance if available. This setting ensures your hardware prioritizes performance over power savings, allowing your system to operate at full potential. Next, click change plan settings and navigate to change advanced power settings for further optimization. Expand the PCI Express section and disable link state power management by setting it to off. This prevents power saving features from throttling performance, ensuring consistent responsiveness during gameplay. Now, head to Processor Power Management, expand the menu and set both minimum processor state and maximum processor state to 100%. This adjustment keeps your CPU running at peak performance at all times, eliminating potential slowdowns that could impact gaming smoothness. After applying these changes, click OK to save your settings.
With these optimizations in place, your PC will deliver improved responsiveness, smoother gameplay, and higher FPS, giving you the best possible gaming experience in Windows. Next, we're fine-tuning GPU settings for maximum performance. By adjusting power management and texture filtering, we'll ensure smoother gameplay and a solid FPS boost. Open the NVIDIA Control Panel or AMD Radeon settings and head to Manage 3D Settings. Set Power Management Mode to Prefer Maximum Performance to keep your GPU running at full capacity instead of throttling to save power. Then locate Texture Filtering Quality and switch it to High Performance. This prioritizes speed over visuals, reducing GPU workload for better efficiency. These tweaks will enhance system stability, minimize lag, and deliver a noticeable FPS boost, making your gaming experience much smoother. Now in this step, we'll disable unnecessary background services that consume system resources. Turning these off will free up memory and CPU power, ensuring a smoother and more responsive gaming experience. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing services, and selecting it from the results to open the services manager. This window lists all active background services. Many of them aren't needed for gaming and can be safely disabled to improve performance. While I have a detailed video covering all unnecessary services, I'll walk you through some of the most important ones right now. First, scroll to the B section and find BitLocker Drive Encryption. If you don't use BitLocker, right-click it, select Properties, set Startup Type to Disabled, and click Stop to halt the service immediately. Click Apply and OK to save the changes. Next, go to the C section and locate Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. This service sends diagnostic data to Microsoft, which isn't necessary for gaming. Right-click it, go to Properties, set Startup Type to Disabled, click Stop, then Apply and save the changes. Now scroll to the D section and find Distributed Link Tracking Client. This is mainly used for network-based file tracking, which most gamers don't need. Disable it by right-clicking, selecting Properties, setting Startup Type to Disabled, stopping the service, and applying the changes. Another unnecessary service is Remote Registry under the R section. This allows remote access to registry settings, which can pose a security risk. Right-click it, go to Properties, change Startup Type to Disabled, stop the service, and apply the changes. Finally, if you prefer manually checking for Windows updates instead of automatic downloads, scroll to Windows Update. Right-click it, select Properties, set Startup Type to Manual or Disabled, then apply and save the settings. Once these services are disabled, close the Services Manager and restart your PC to apply the changes. This will reduce background tasks, free up system resources, and improve overall gaming performance. Now we'll scan Windows for hidden errors, system inconsistencies, and corrupted files that could be slowing down your PC and affecting gaming performance. Fixing these issues ensures a smoother and more responsive system. To start, open the Start menu, type CMD in the search bar, then right-click Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Once the command window opens, copy the first command from the description, paste it into CMD and press Enter. This command analyzes the Windows disk image, checking for potential issues. It also includes a restore health function, which automatically repairs any corrupted or missing system files. The process may take a while, so let it run until it completes. Once finished, copy the second command from the description and enter it into CMD. Press Enter to begin a deeper system-wide scan. This scan detects and fixes corrupted files, ensuring system integrity. Since it runs in the background, you can continue with other tasks while it completes. Next, we'll apply a registry tweak to enhance system responsiveness and allocate more CPU power for gaming. This adjustment ensures that your CPU operates at full capacity while gaming, delivering the best possible performance. Start by opening the Windows search bar, typing Registry Editor, then right-clicking and selecting Run as Administrator to open it with elevated permissions. Now copy the registry path from the description, paste it into the Registry Editor's address bar, and press Enter to jump directly to the correct location. Find System Responsiveness, switch to Decimal Mode, and change its value to 10. By default, Windows reserves 20% of CPU power for background tasks, which can limit gaming performance. This tweak reallocates that reserved power, ensuring more processing resources for your games, leading to smoother frame rates and reduced lag. 
It's particularly useful for CPU intensive games and low end systems. Next, we'll increase the CPU priority of your game to boost FPS and overall performance. Copy the next registry path, paste it into the registry editor and press enter. Locate Win32 priority separation, double click it and set the value to 26. This tweak instructs Windows to prioritize your game's processes over background tasks. Normally, Windows divides CPU time between multiple active applications, but this adjustment ensures your game receives top priority, reducing latency and optimizing processing speed. Disabling High Precision Event Timer, HPET, can help reduce FPS drops and improve system responsiveness for a smoother gaming experience. Many users, including myself, have seen noticeable performance gains after turning it off, making this a useful tweak for better gameplay. To get started, open Device Manager by pressing Windows plus X and selecting Device Manager from the list. Scroll down to System Devices and look for High Precision Event Timer, HPET. This system timer can sometimes cause FPS instability, so disabling it may enhance overall performance. To turn it off, right-click on High Precision Event Timer, select Disable Device, and confirm your choice. If you notice any performance issues afterward, you can easily re-enable it using the same steps. However, for most setups, disabling HP Eat leads to smoother gameplay and a slight FPS boost, making it an effective optimization step. Now let's fine-tune your system to maximize gaming performance and ensure smooth, lag-free gameplay. Start by opening the Start menu, clicking Settings, going to System, and selecting Storage. Click Temporary Files and let the scan finish. Check all options except Downloads, unless you want to clear them, then click Remove Files and Confirm. The cleanup may take a few minutes, but it will free up system resources. To automate this, enable Storage Sense, set it to run daily or weekly, and adjust cleanup settings as needed. Next, optimize privacy settings to reduce background activity and free up resources for gaming. Open settings, go to privacy and security, and select general. Disable all options, including personalized ads, location-based content, and app tracking. This prevents apps from collecting unnecessary data and reduces system resource usage. Now go to speech and turn off online speech recognition if you don't use voice features like dictation or Cortana. Then navigate to inking and typing personalization and disable it if you don't want Microsoft collecting typing data for text suggestions. In Diagnostics and Feedback, turn off Send Optional Diagnostic Data to prevent Windows from sending extra system information. If you're in the Windows Insider program, you'll need to keep it enabled, but otherwise, disabling it will help improve performance. Next, adjust App Permissions to prevent background processes from consuming system power. Under Location, disable it unless you use Maps or location-based apps. In Camera Settings, Turn off camera access if you don't use video conferencing apps. If you do use Zoom or similar apps, keep it enabled. Under notifications, disable access for apps to minimize distractions and unnecessary background tasks. In messaging, turn it off if you don't use the built-in Windows messaging features. For radios, leave it enabled. Disabling it may cause Bluetooth issues. Also, review permissions for contacts, phone calls, call history, and emails. If you don't use the built-in email client or communication apps, disable them to prevent background tasks from running. Any unused app should have its permissions disabled for optimal system performance. Now let's remove unnecessary applications. Go to Apps, Installed Apps, then uninstall programs you don't use. Many built-in Windows apps run background services, so removing them will free up storage, reduce CPU, RAM usage, and ensure more system power is allocated to gaming. Next, click the Gaming tab. Inside, make sure Game Mode is enabled. This prioritizes gaming performance by reducing background activity, helping to minimize lag and stutters in demanding games. Now adjust Game Bar settings to stop unnecessary background processes. While still in gaming settings, locate Game Bar and disable it. The Game Bar includes features like screen recording and streaming, but it also consumes system resources. Turning it off ensures more power is dedicated to gaming. By applying these privacy adjustments, removing unused apps, and tweaking system settings, your PC will allocate more resources to gaming rather than unnecessary background tasks.
This helps boost performance, minimize lag, and ensure a smoother gameplay experience. That wraps up today's video. If this helped, hit the like button and subscribe for more optimization tips. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and happy gaming.